Yo, what's up guys, it's Black Team Legends back with another video today. In this tutorial today, we're going to be talking about a very important thing in your Roblox Studio. So today, we're going to be talking about how you could use one script to enable another script. So let's start out with a scenario. So let's say I'm trying to like kind of make a trap, right? Like for example, I, I make this player spawn in the base plate and I want them to like basically touch this part. And then after they touch it, they die. And then I want them, I want the base plate to turn red after. Like I wanted to change the color. So therefore, if we play it right now, it's not going to be what I want because basically the base plate turns red already, but I want the play to touch the part first and then the base plate goes red. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in the script today. So let me echo this real quick and I'm going to make it a bit bigger so you could actually see it. So this is our part, right? What we want to do is we want to go inside a script. You, you could make a new script if you want because it's kind of like a very similar process. And like whenever you want the script, whenever you want to enable this script, what you need to do is you need to type this. So I want this I want this script to enable after the player touches a part. So I got a touch event over here. And that basically kills the player and it makes the part transparent. That's what I'm saying. So what I want to do is after the player touches it, I'm going to type workspace. And then just target the script that you want to activate. So it's this one. So I'm going to type works, workspace dot base plate. And then dot enabled I mean I mean dot script because the script is inside the base plate but if you have a script outside it in, inside the workspace and just target that script so then we get type workspace dot base plate dot script dot enabled equals to true and before we test it what we need to do is we need to go to the script over here and what what I want to do is I want to disable it because we don't want like the base plate to turn red right away after we disable the script now let's test the game now a quick overview overview on how the script works let's start it and join in right now and i must say it as we join in so you see we're in the base plate right now right you can see that the base plate is gray and it's plastic too like if i open workspace the material fit is plastic so what i scripted in the part is is right after i died i made the part like Basically, when you touch it, you die. I, I use a touch event function. And then after, I made the part go transparent. And then after, I'm going to make it connect to the other script to turn it on so the base plate turns red. So that's what's going to happen. So let's try going and touching the part now. Three, two. Oh, that was off. But do you guys see that the part went transparent and the script got enabled? And if you guys still don't believe that, how about we go to the script over here? We play it and we can see like its current state and properties. So if we go to base play right now inside it, you can see the script is disabled, but when we walk to it, you see it's now check. And yeah guys, this is how you enable another script from one script to another. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you do, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.